Devon Davis is once again in the spotlight, but not for his prowess in the ring. Instead, he has been seen visiting fellow boxing star Shocker Stevenson at the hospital after Stevenson suffered a significant injury. This unexpected visit has taken fans by surprise, as Davis and Stevenson are often viewed as rivals. Their reunion in such a vulnerable moment showcases a different side of these two prominent fighters, highlighting a bond that transcends their competitive spirits. Shocker Stevenson was originally scheduled to defend his WBC lightweight title against Joe Cardina on October 12 in Saudi Arabia. This event was set to coincide with the highly anticipated Urbbv Dimitri Bevel showdown, promising an evening filled with exhilarating matchups. However, Destiny had other plans when Stevenson injured his right hand during training. The injury was severe enough to necessitate surgery, forcing Stevenson to withdraw from the fight and leaving both fans and the boxing community in disbelief. When asked about his thoughts on Stevenson's injury, Davis expressed his sympathy and encouragement. It's unfortunate, Davis stated. I'm sure he was training hard and put a lot of work into preparing for the fight. My message to him would be to stay focused, stay positive, and control the things he can control. Even with a hurt hand, there are still aspects he can work on. Davis's supportive words reflect a deep respect for Stevenson's dedication and resilience. As news of the injury spread, Stevenson released a statement expressing his disappointment. I am definitely disappointed that I won't be able to fight on October 12th. I have been super sharp and feeling great in camp and was planning to put on a show next month against Joe Cardina. The pain of missing such a significant opportunity on a global stage was evident in his words. Despite this setback, Stevenson remains determined to prioritize his health, acknowledging the necessity of the surgery to ensure a strong comeback in early 2025. Stevenson outlined his plans moving forward, stating, My two-fight plan involves facing Joe Cardina, and if I triumph, I'll move on to the Zappa fight. During that period, we'll showcase our value and work closely together before moving forward to face Yovanti Davis. Stevenson hopes that these fights will lead to the continuation of his illustrious career. The injury which occurred during a training session was not minor. Stevenson sustained tears to his sagittal band and collateral ligament in his right hand, critical components for any fighter. The surgery performed at the surgical center of the Rockies was successful but the recovery process will require time and patience. The most surprising development in this narrative is the appearance of Yovanti Davis at the hospital. Historically, Davis and Stevenson have been seen more as competitors than allies. Davis's visit surprised many, portraying a moment of humanity that fans did not anticipate. Their rivalry in the ring made this gesture particularly noteworthy, suggesting that even in a fiercely competitive sport like boxing, there can be moments of solidarity and support. In the boxing world, rivalries are intense, and the potential showdown between Davis and Stevenson has been a topic of much speculation. Fans have long fantasized about these two top fighters facing off, each bringing distinct styles to the ring. Stevenson is celebrated as a tactical genius, known for his technical brilliance and defensive prowess. In contrast, Davis is recognized for his power punching and explosive speed. A fight between them would undoubtedly be a legendary event, combining Stevenson's strategic approach with Davis's aggressive knockout ability. Davis's visit to Stevenson raises intriguing questions about their relationship and the future of their rivalry. Could this be the beginning of a friendship? Or is it simply a show of respect and a time of need? In a sport where fighters are often at odds, Davis's gesture speaks volumes about his character and the unspoken bonds that can exist between competitors. Meanwhile, Stevenson's career is on a brief hiatus as he recovers from his surgery. He has already set his sights on his next opponent, a mandatory defense against William Zappa in early 2025. This upcoming fight will serve as a crucial test for Stevenson's readiness to face someone as formidable as Davis. Davis, who is scheduled to fight Lamont Roach in December 2024, is heavily favored to win. This bout is seen as more of a tune-up fight for Davis, allowing him to continue his reign at the top of the lightweight division and set the stage for a potential clash with Stevenson. The anticipation for a Davis vs. Stevenson showdown is immense. Both fighters are young, talented, and at the peak of their divisions, holding prestigious titles. 
Stevenson currently holds the WBC lightweight title, while Davis is the WBO junior welterweight champion. A fight between them would be a blockbuster event, drawing attention from boxing enthusiasts worldwide. Teofimo Lopez, another prominent figure in the boxing scene, has recently commented on Stevenson, adding another layer of complexity to the situation. Lopez has expressed reluctance to fight Stevenson, citing personal and psychological concerns. He revealed a deeply troubling memory from 2015 when Stevenson, then a young amateur, faced a devastating loss in the National Golden Gloves Tournament in Las Vegas. This loss reportedly pushed Stevenson to the brink of suicide, an experience that Lopez remembers vividly. Lopez's candid remarks highlight the emotional struggles Stevenson has faced throughout his career. Shocker is a very talented, skillful, and technical fighter, Lopez acknowledged. But he's scared to get hit. He's scared to take hits. He's too delusional to go in the gym and fix his mistakes. Lopez's comments suggest that he perceives Stevenson's emotional vulnerabilities as potential weaknesses that could be exploited in the ring. Despite Stevenson's growth since his amateur days, Lopez believes that the scars from those early losses still impact him. Stevenson's career, while marked by technical brilliance and an unblemished professional record, has not been without its moments of vulnerability. A notable example is his loss at the 2016 Olympics to Cuban boxer Robe Ramirez, a defeat that left Stevenson in tears and broadcasted worldwide. This public display of emotion showcased both his resilience and his struggles, adding depth to his persona as a fighter. Lopez's reluctance to face Stevenson is not solely based on personal experiences, but also professional considerations. Stevenson's defensive and slick boxing style, while effective, has been criticized for lacking knockout power and not being particularly fan-friendly. This criticism has been a consistent theme throughout Stevenson's career, drawing ire from fighters like Lopez who prefer a more aggressive, power-focused approach. In contrast, Davis's reputation as a ferocious power puncher with explosive knockouts has garnered him a formidable standing in the boxing world. His ability to end fights with a single punch, coupled with his strategic precision, makes him one of the most dangerous fighters in the sport. Davis's knockout record speaks for itself, and his aggressive style has often drawn comparisons to legends like Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson himself has weighed in on the potential bout between Davis and Stevenson. Admiring Davis's ferocity and finishing ability, Tyson believes that Davis's power gives him an edge in a fight against Stevenson. Davis is a monster right now, Tyson remarked. Everyone's going to go with Davis, but it would be a very interesting fight. Tyson's prediction aligns with the sentiment of many fans who see Davis's knockout power as a decisive factor in any matchup. However, Tyson did not dismiss Stevenson's technical skills. He praised Stevenson's defensive brilliance, acknowledging that while his style might not always be the most exciting for casual viewers, it is highly effective. Shocker takes a good shot, he's a specialist. That's why there are some fights where he doesn't look good because he's so superior. It's boring watching sometimes, but he knows what he's doing. He's hard to beat, Tyson commented. He emphasized that the key to defeating Stevenson lies in applying constant pressure or something Davis excels at. Despite the excitement surrounding a potential Davis versus Stevenson fight, it is unlikely to happen immediately. Stevenson is focused on his recovery and his upcoming mandatory defense against Zappa, while Davis prepares for his bout with Lamont Roach. This period allows both fighters to build their legacies further, with the Davis-Stevenson matchup remaining a highly anticipated event for the future. Stevenson has expressed his eagerness to face Davis in a 2025 showdown, believing that both fighters are at the pinnacle of their careers and that their distinct styles would create a compelling and memorable fight. Let's make the fight happen, man. I'm tired of tweeting. I'm tired of talking about it. Stop ducking me and let's make the fight happen. Stevenson urged Davis, highlighting his frustration and determination to face his rival in the ring. In the meantime, Stevenson's focus remains on his recovery and preparing for his next fight against Zappa. This fight will not only test Stevenson's physical readiness, but also his ability to rebound from adversity. For Davis, his upcoming fight with Roach is seen as a stepping stone towards greater challenges, with Stevenson being the most anticipated opponent should both fighters maintain their undefeated records and retain their titles.
The potential clash between Davis and Stevenson embodies the classic showdown of power versus technique. Davis's aggressive, knockout-focused approach contrasts sharply with Stevenson's defensive, calculated strategy. This dynamic creates a captivating narrative for boxing fans who eagerly await the day these two exceptional fighters meet in the ring. As Stevenson recuperates and Davis continues his training, the boxing community buzzes with anticipation. The Davis-Stevenson fight promises to be a monumental event, showcasing the best of both fighters' skills and determination. Whether Davis's power will overwhelm Stevenson's technical mastery or Stevenson's defensive prowess will neutralize Davis's aggression remains to be seen. One thing is certain, when these two fighters eventually face off, it will be a fight for the ages, captivating audiences and cementing their legacies in the annals of boxing history. What do you think the outcome of this epic showdown would be? Share your thoughts below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more instant updates. See you in the next one.